Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Nick White here coming with another leak code tutorial video for each, uh, you know, I do all the problems and I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. So if you guys want to check that out, please feel free to. Um, it's in the description. So this question is called reverse a linked list and we actually just did palindrome linked list and I just was like, oh, this one's, e this one's just way easier. So uh, if you didn't see a palindrome linked list, I would go check that out after this one. Um, you literally have to do this problem within that problem. So uh, I literally just did this. So uh, this says reverse a singly linked list, right? So if the nodes values are one, two, three, four, five, null, then we want five, four, three, two, one, null. Uh, so yeah, pretty easy, right? Um, I didn't even look at the solution because I mean, I, yeah. All right. So all you have to do is do list node previous is equal to null. I'll explain it at the end. I'm just going to type it first. Well, head is not equal null. Uh, head dot nope sorry list node next is equal to head dot next so get head dot next basically um, set then set head dot next to prev um, what did I do after that head dot next is equal to prev then I do prev is equal to head yeah that makes sense and then head is equal to next yeah perfect and then return prev Boom. All right, let's run it. Works perfectly. Submit it, 100%. Boom. Yep, great. Okay. Uh, so let me explain it really quick, right? So um, you, you know, one, two, three, four, five, null, five, four, three, two, one, null. Uh, you know, this makes sense because you pass in, so let's just use this example. If you pass in one here as the head, then one dot next is two, right? Our list node has a value and a next. So one dot next is two right now, two dot next is three and so on, right? You guys get that. Um, so while head's not equal null, we're gonna iterate through this. Um, and we're gonna see, we're gonna grab the next element. So one is the head right now. Remember that one is the head. I'll keep my finger up here. Um, and then two is the next. So we grab two, two's just over here in space right now, but we have one. We're just head is one, next is two. It's over here. Um, now we set one's next to prev. Prev is null though, so we're basically taking this null, and it's like screw this two, dude. We're making one's next null now, right? Now prev gets set to head, so prev is now one, right? So this becomes prev, and head becomes next. So um, this. This basically kind of repeats this process where, you know, um, head.next is going to be equal to prev, but prev keeps getting set to, you know, head. So, you know, prev is becoming one now, and then head.next gets set to one, and head is oh, head's going to be next, which was two. It was over there in space, right? So head's going to be two now, and two.next is going to get set to one. Then head's going to be three because, you know, two, two's next is three. Next is equal to head dot next. And then three's next gets set to two. And it's kind of like this process. I mean, it's not, this isn't that bad. If you don't understand this, I would recommend not even trying that many other algorithms. Like spend some time like trying to figure this out. But, um, and it kind of just gets like re just put backwards and stuff like that, if that makes sense. And just like the output, right? Uh, I mean, hopefully I did a good job of explaining that. Like, um, you know, I'm pretty tired. I have this Amazon inter interview part two tomorrow. So, but, uh, you know, let me know how I did explaining that in the comments below uh, if you watched it. And, uh, you know, I have all the other lead code problems too. So just go check those out. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching. And I really appreciate it. So please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitch if you want to see these live in the future. And thanks, guys. See you next time.